recording has started. Hello YouTube, this is a deciding game of the Korean Open Qualifier. The winner uh, goes into the next round together with Lin, Focus and Lawliot. The loser is out and has to go through the wildcard qualifier later uh, in July, I guess. So we have an Archmage here in the upper left for Chimiko. We have a Blade Master in the upper right for Soen. Question is, what's the tactics of Chimiko? Is he an expansion player? Will he rush? There's so many opportunities on Echo Isles for humans of what to do. An orc has to scout a lot and uh, react to that. With a very fast tech here. Oh, yeah. So in starting off without the shop, not even going for his first claws. Wants to buy it at the marketplace maybe, <clears throat> after the human has crept it. But it takes a little while until it shows up. I think it's like 10 seconds or something. So it's not available yet. He's running over, trying to get a last on the creep. That would be the dream. Doesn't get that. Then I guess at least the water elemental, but that gets denied. So, so far, fruitless efforts from the orc. Yeah. Uh, he can get some hits. And in the first game we saw between them on Last Refuge, he didn't get too much damage on the Archmage, but rather um, suffered a lot from the footman attacks. So this is already a little better for Sone than it was on Last Refuge in the first series. Um, Boros are coming up, shop as well. They should be safe as the Archmage is going towards the shop or the, the bottom side of the map. So everything's safe there. But yeah, no progress on the Blade Master at all. It's also difficult now for Chamiko to creep though. Militia can creep the green camp. Ideally, you want to do that with a watch elemental. So I like the Blade Master hunting that one down actually. It's going to make that more difficult to do. But the AM on the other side of the map can take the other green camp. Only really once he has mana though, unless he wants to sacrifice a lot of HP. Good grunt movement as well, has good vision of this. So he keeps him on level 2 only, that's pretty nice. So far at least. Indeed, and on Echo Alts we all the know that it's the, are under one of the easiest maps to reach level 3, so not bad by Soen. Maybe he just saved tactics for the important maps. So here's that creep. AM will get level 2. Perhaps he doesn't get all the experience here on the right side camp. Nice last hit from the blade. He needs those last hit seals. As he's still only at around 100 experience himself. Gonna get the water elemental as well. Gonna get the two little gnolls and suddenly he's close to level 2. Tech wise, orc decently far ahead. Pretty far ahead. Thanks to that one borrow no shop tech. So the tier two buildings should certainly be safe. Forces are under attack. Chat says that it's super hard to get level three on Echo. Remo, do you agree with me or with Chat? I thought Chat is always right, Neo. You told me before that it's not the case, so <laughs> maybe I should start believing in you if you believe in me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's. S certainly easier maps. AZ is easier. TM is easier. Look at this block. Holy shit, did you see that? <laughs> did you see that block? Did you see that, that Neo? Did you? <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh boy. Like, on a square meter, he blocked him for seconds. Chimiko's blocks are so crazy, man. It's just sweet. Beastmaster seconds, so. Imagine if Lin had those blocks, man. He would win every <laughs> tournament. Every single one. There's a lot of footmen here. A big meat shield, plus the summons coming. TC second for Soen. What? Wait, what? Yeah. But still. Oh, Wyvern distraction into attack. Walker Raider, I guess? What? But he sees the Wyvern. Does he have a tower? No. Nope. Oh no. He can fast go though. So with the TC, once you are as, as long as you are in range, you do have more damage than the SH, but obviously you don't have the hex. Borrow still falls. The first one, the, the other one in the bag should be safe, I believe. AM by the way. Super low HP. Yeah. Get caught by a run only. Oh, maybe by the wyvern. But yeah, he needs so much repair on this board. He sends in the Archmage again. He doesn't have a water limit. He needs that damage, but the Archmage has to TP out without getting the burrow. That's kind of fine. 
It did cost a lot of lumber here, yeah. especially to repair this, but he did have the up, uh, the buildings up already anyways. He's not too low on lumber, but he's still supply stuck for a long time. There was no borrow coming up behind this, which I would have liked to see. So he's not going to be able to produce for very long. And there's no tower, but one wyvern. Also no anti-air except the quillbees, which will expire soon. And Archmage, of course. I like that he opened up the way into the base once he saw the Windrider. So he can stand in here. Yeah. This hero, the summons. Bruce, for the wyvern. But yeah, this harass doesn't do too much. So, TC now, <laughs> that is the unusual thing in this yeah. game. Very unusual game indeed, because normally we say, alright, Beast Mass really good early, but uh, once we get into the late game, he falls off heavily. Yeah. When going up against an SH, but we don't have an SH, do we? We have a Torrent Chieftain, so it's gonna be an Orc without Heal Wave. He's gonna have to rely on Scrolls of Healing on a map where there is only one shop. Okay, he uh, is not gonna get them, I guess. Is there Ivory Towers? No. No TP, no potions, no ivories, just a straight up tower put with the first sorceress. His units are even a little hurt, didn't heal them up. And he has no time to go for the shop. There's a talisman on the TC, there's a berserker from the work camp, but without hex and heal wave, this is looking rough. No lumber mill though, so there's not gonna be any guards anytime soon. Spirling now, of course, so good. The great thing about Spirling is it's damage mitigation, obviously, so the healing kind of doubles, but he doesn't have Heal Wave, as we have mentioned before. He has the potions, though. He needs to keep the stomp alive. This is the most important thing. TC coming in for the stomp. Normally, stomp is the best when there's a lot of damage output on both sides to secure damage uptime for you and reduce damage uptime for your opponent. But in this matchup, the fights are slow and drawn out and take forever. That's why usually TC in the Orc mirror also doesn't look too amazing. But alright, let's see. Maybe maybe this will work out and look worth good in the end. Are you sure that he has Stomp? Did we see a Stomp already? Oh right, he may have Wave. Yeah, he, he probably waves. Oh, did he? I think he stomped against the footies earlier. Oh, okay. But maybe I'm just high or something. <laughs> that is absolutely possible. <laughs> Level 3 blade, everything is slow. Tomiko's retreating a little, but not giving up this push entirely. Okay, now it is. So plan A didn't work. We can come back with breakers and ivories and potions though. But I don't yeah, even know why he three. pushed that. Like, it Couldn't he so just fast. have crept and then go for big army fights because the orc can't heal? I think that, that, sec that push right there, I think that was a mistake. Oh man, Creepjack coming in with a scroll of speed. No TP here on Chimiko, so he's gonna take a lot of losses. He's holding on to his mana. Last hit, steals it. Oh, not quite in time with the Blade Master. Gets the item though, greater healing. That's so good for him here. Without having an SH. Yeah, he can continue to pounce on the Breakers. The trolls are attacking the Walkers here though. Okay, there's Stomp, as you said. Trying to go for a hero here? No, just the units. He's completely ignoring the Beastmaster as he's too tanky. More and more kills on the priests. Even militia being called, but also they are hurt already. Boy, this is so much damage. So in looking good for you. Of course. It always looks good for the orc in the beginning normally, and the humans may be able to turn it around later on. But these militia men, they're getting eaten up here by the orc army, but now everything is hurt. He needs healing. He doesn't have a scroll. And that's what happens when you don't have spirits, uh, like uh, heal wave. <laughs> Three kills for Jamiko, and this grunt will fall as well. It gets a breaker in return though, that's nice. So we end up on 31 versus 43 supply. But of course casters are really really fast to get back. Not as fast as talents, but still. A player's forces are under attack. So with the supply late now, what can Soin do? Can he capitalize? I think he really needs to go south to the shop for the heal scrolls. And I got a mega leg. Yeah, I kind of agree. Level three and a half TC, almost level four Blade Masterman. He killed so much in this fight. A town is under he gets siege. a war mill for Kodos, so he invests his resources into that as well. Well, Shmik is of course stuck with creeping here until he gets at least 3-3. Three, three. It's like almost a two-level advantage on both heroes. It's ridiculous. And no lumber. 
for Jamiko as well. Wyvern continues to harass. Forces are under attack. Alright, I'm uh, reconnecting. Alright, we do have the level 3. Boots as well. No TP, no potion. And he is going for the Merc camp. And now shop control by Soen. Plus the level 4 on the blade. Nice heal spell as well. Does he, does he want to go for an invul? He could. He will have the resources afterwards. Speed scroll there as well. He's so prepared for everything. A player's forces are under Ooh, and attack. He's sniping the shop, but there's repair. So this drains more resources out of Chimiko. He really needs to get his army back up and items. What did he get? Oh, this is nine. Okay. And we do have the next fight. Archmage caught off guard. As I said, no TP, no potion. This is ridiculous. And a dead Archmage for sure. With a storm. Boom! No Archmage, no win. No water mental, no brilliance aura. We can try to kite a little. I am back from the tavern, but you don't have resources for that. So this should be the GG right here. Completely caught with his pants down. While creating a second uh, stress test here in the north, draining the resource, and again, so many units that, or so much supply down the drain. This will take forever. Just reach level three, and of course, so players' forces push. are under attack. With the next Kodo coming. The walkers are a little bit out of position here, I feel. Can be attacked by a lot fairly easy. But I mean, a lot is in quotes because Chimiku doesn't have a lot. Nice stomp. Again. Can't really prevent him from doing that. And so the walk is chewing through this even with Math Militia. The Wyvern is helping tremendously for last hitting here. The micro back units to finish them off. Blade Master though. Kind of running low, but of course there's the heal potion. Now he's focusing on the Beastmaster, and that one will fall as well. 1-0 for Soen. Really surprising. Damn, dude, with a TC second. Oh, yeah. The storms were really cool, at, I think, at times. I mean, nothing that really won him the game, and it, he would have won that with the Shadowhunter most likely as well, but... <laughs> that was interesting for sure. Yeah. And Chimiko looked very, very different in that game. Like Yes, it was like an entirely different game than the early rounds. Yeah, not only strategically, but also like, I don't know, how he played in game last, uh, the series in the upper bracket, he seemed to make all the right calls here. Yeah. Attacking again into the orc base with that level two, when he could have just played a creeping game. I'm not a fan. Maybe it just wasn't his map. Maybe he feels more comfortable on other maps. Also a little stubborn, right? To just go for it, despite having a level 3 Archmage, despite having any yep. items and stuff. Definitely. Could Florentine will win a map against these guys? If you tie both of their hands behind <laughs> their backs, and they only have to play with their nose, then maybe Florentine could win a map against. Are you invited already? Because I don't see you in the list. Ah, there you are. Are you invited? No, you're gone. No. Wait. What's up? Invite, please. Couldn't connect. I don't see you on my friend list. Or on the invite list. Can you just... Oh, no, you can't change me, right? Uh, game invitation. Yes. Already set. All right, Amazonia. <coughs> I wonder why Chimiko felt that he had to go away from his uh, style that he showed earlier. Seemed to be so strong. Just MK casters, late game, good levels, good items. Well, because his tower pushes usually work a lot. Yeah, but he didn't try them earlier. But we only saw one did. game, right? So. Uh, didn't we see two? It was LR? Was it, did we only see LR? Yes. Okay. Amazonia certainly also a possible 
tower push map. Not necessarily, though, of course. Pretty good Archmage level 3 map. This is, I believe, the primary reason here why we're seeing this. If you want to keep the AM on level 2 only until the mid-game, you're going to have to do excellent scouting and have to be using your army perfectly. I would love to see Neo versus Florentine. Do you think I have a chance against him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think what do you consider your chances? Pretty good. I know how to use a click, so that's a big advantage. <laughs> but what we're getting there. You play? You know, what strategy would you play? Um, I, would, I don't know. Just a normal destroyer push, I guess. But, you know, we don't have to teach him too much so that the, um, we're featured longer. It's more exposure. <laughs> You know, <laughs> just baby steps. Just Smart. teach him one thing. Smart. And... Yeah, I Smart know, idea. I know, I know. Next level play. <laughs> I know how to market my channel to our channel. So, Tamiko in red in the bottom left. So, in with match points in the upper right. Is he going to go for that weird TC again? Would be greatly surprising. Some orcs in the past, in the recent past, have started playing Farseer here. Is so in such a player? I don't think so. He is not. Mountain King could also be an option, maybe, but also Sumiko staying trying true to the Archmage. What happened to the Shadowhunter first, by the way? Only Lin played it. Come on. But twice. <laughs> Three, no, four times, right? Four times even? I, I remember so. two games. It was so cool, dude. But Lin, it's just a crazy boy. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to seeing him in the qualifier next week. <clears throat> of course, he will be going into that qualifier as the main favorite. But yeah, Chimiko was the favorite on map one. And now he's down one map. He's down one map, and I have to put that into the overlay. I apologize. Shame on you, Neo. How could you do this? I know, man. Just mistake after mistake after mistake. I think I should step down. After that, your parents should probably disinherit you. They did already. <laughs> oh my god, I hope that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Have you ever had like, uh, like when I grew up, I had some difficult, like friends who were children whom you would call difficult children, right? And as they grew older and started drinking alcohol, things got worse. And then parents started threatening them a lot with, I'm going to kick you out if you don't get your act together and shit. But nobody ever kicked out one of their children. Where you grew up, did the did, did child actually get kicked out of his house, out of his home? I got kicked out when I was 19. 18? 19? I'm not sure. I mean, wasn't it with you more though of the like... of a decision on your side? I wanted it anyway, but she made it clear that it's like... I don't have an option. Sad boys. Players forces Sad boys. Are under attack. Yeah, it's okay. It was all for the best. Yeah, but I think at 19 it's it's better. But like doing that at 14, like... Yeah, how can you hard. throw a child like out onto the street like that? I don't know. And then you had to sell his his stellar body to make to make a living. Sold sold my virginity with nineteen <laughs> to be able to pay rent. But yeah, Chimiko, I think he is off to a good start. Cancelled the shop, so no healing at the moment and no uh, mana region for Soin. So everything is got a just a little bit later. Archmage has a staff now, but Soin still keeping taps. I like that play as well. So can he get some last hits here? Nope, not this one. Not this one. Not this one. And the grunts were in position and ready. That was pretty cool. But in the end, they didn't do too much. At least he keeps the big one from going the human's way. And he's going to be able to steal it. And so far, the AM is only level 2. Can he find level 3? You kind of are supposed to on this map. Our player's forces are under attack. 
Sasquatch goes to the Blade Master. That's so big. Does he have to go to the Cobalts now, actually, to get level 3? Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Let's gonna get it here. Unless the big one's stolen. Oh, and he might be able to do it. Yeah, he's coming. Is he? He's, a good... oh, he's revealed, though. Master, it's gonna be too slow. He gets it. Hey, I'm still low HP though. He gets the item here, steals that one away. One of illusion could soak up a lot of damage later. That's pretty big. I mean, that's two consumables that should be going to Chimiko, and so install them both. Yeah, and he also um, killed two footmen here. So with level three, oftentimes see a beast master push towards the main. That's very scary. It still is, but with two footies less, it's a little less so the case. And the AM used a lot of mana for creeping. Doesn't have too many bottle elements available anymore. But he's going for an MK anyways. No Beastmaster. Reach potion was so nice at this point, by the way. Especially with the shop being late or yeah, are him not bad. having any clarities here. It's a really nice addition. But okay, will he finally get one of the consumables? Does uh, kind of look like it. Free gun still... There, tier Dude. two, as you said, is ready. It's a TC again. What? TC second time, and this Ooh. time not against a push strat, but against a standard one base strat. Really interested to see if in the late game he's still gonna be convincing. So if he's going for a storm, then a mountain king should pretty hard counter him, right? Because he wants to be in the middle of everything, and that takes time, and then you can storm bolt him and move your army away. Yeah. In or a just perfect kill him. world, or just kill him. Yes. Of course. So rather, sh but shockwave. I think it's too weak without chain lightning or any other follow-up. Yeah, I think so too. Like so it must be some are under attack. Windrider once again, and there's no answer. Tower's coming up now, but this is too late. He's gonna have to spawn a water elemental into the base, for which he doesn't have the mana at the moment. No shop either for clarity. This Windrider's gonna be a nuisance. That is correct. First sorceress are coming out. Mountain King is out. Archmage level 3 and a half, but underwhelming items. Except for the boots there, attack. I guess. Third consumable for someone which is Sentry Wards. It's really nice at this point. Oh, slow on the Wyvern. That's quite some damage here. Oh man, Storm Bolden, she's dead. It's dead. Oh yeah. That didn't really work, but the first one arrived. Slow though. Oh, if someone gets creep jack down here though, this is dangerous. Does he have a scroll of speed? Nope. He doesn't. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, that's not good. No bueno. How much mana is there left to work with? No water. Okay, some of the water elemental immediately. A player's force is already so Going for the Blade Master. I don't know if I agree with that choice. It can so easily run away with Windwalk. Oh, nice. nice. The stomp on, on the Mountain King was savior here. The grunt towards the right side should still die. But, uh oh, oh. Yeah, DC slowed. As well. Yeah, slowed and stumbled. Yeah, he has stumbled. That must be the surround. Death. Yes. Oh, oh, it's still open. Close. <laughs> that was a nice stomp, but uh, no follow up. Level 2 hero falls. The Windrider in the main is still being annoying, but only two peasant kills. And the Raider mis rallied. Oh, oh no. that's big. That is so big. It's the first one, right? Yes. Oh, the player's no. forces are under attack. So massive he, advantage now yeah. for Chimiko moving He's, forward, even even without militia. There's still mana to spend on the Stormbolt. These three Stormbolts were so good. Berserker dead. The footman, of course, will be exchanged by Breakers in a bit, so he can sacrifice them. Archmage level four with the Brilliance Aura now. Mountain King says, says thank you. We do have walkers and the spell, but not too much another grunt falls here. Did he use his scroll of speed earlier or did he just not buy I think one? he didn't buy neither heal selves nor clarities nor... Um, How speed. can you not buy a scroll of speed? Don't understand. So MK though in a bad position here. Might be getting killed. Nice peon block. 
And he's yeah. ultra surrounded. I can swap the town oh. portal. Well done. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, Jamiko's back after a pretty bad early game and a pretty bad map one. This is certainly him in the driving seat now. For the time being though, he's stuck in his lane. Can't get out, may have to go for Zeppelin maybe. Windrider still being obnoxious. <laughs> but Lumber is not the issue here, not really. Rarely is the case for humans playing against Orc. And someone is getting some good creeping in. Usually I'm a big fan of level 3 TC, but here I still have my doubts about how strong he's gonna be. Especially if the Mountain King has mana. And he has a lot of. Wait a minute. How did he get out of his base? Did Chimiko TP out of his base? No. He killed a farm. And then he was able to walk out. He stabbed the Archmage. How did he get the Mountain King out? Is this not. Is this base not walled off? Apparently not. I think he, would... he TP'd out. Or it's not walled off. Does he have a Zeppelin? No, right? No. No. A player's forces are under He stabbed attack. out with the Archmage, that's for sure. Blocked out with towers. Ah. Oh, that's really? Nice. Oh, that's a sweet play. Nice that you caught on camera, Neo. <laughs> Apparently, I did. JK. Oh, MK. Oh. Bad position. Does he have silence? I mean, Invis. That's what I wanted to say. It will transfer last second. Saves a second here. But he has no town portal. He can't really engage in this fight. It's only hero focus from so inside. Now he misses the storm. In there is Invis now. Oh, man. It just Does he have a dispel? Barely in time. Does he have There's a, a sentry on the ground. Is there another one? He has another sentry on the TC. But now it's gonna be slow. There's no more scroll of speed. Big stomp again, but not too much follow up. MK still super low. Mass disenchants against the slow. He can still see the MK, but he gets storm bolted. MK needs to run away and get Invis cast again. And now sentry is not in range. Whoa. Hoo hoo hoo. But man, the advantage for Chimiko is certainly gone now. So many losses. He's trying to get a hero cut out, but there's the storm. This time he reaches the Mountain King, and this should be Soin's way into the Masters Colosseum qualifier for Korea. Archmage is gonna die for sure as well. He can't staff out at all. Oh, actually. Ah, Spirit Link reapplied to the Blade Master survives. Can he get a potion? He has the resources easily. And he survives. Ooh. Maybe calling it quits a little too early. The breaker numbers are good. And everything is slowed. How many kills can he get? Nine supply on the table here. Three. Damn, that was... That was too careless by Chimiko. MK way too far forward without an invul. Only one invul anyways. Well, I guess he only can get one in his shop. But no health potions, no TP. It almost cost him the game. If he loses the AM there, that game's over. Absolutely. He has a As it now. stands, I think it's... I think it's okay. Like, how can Soen... He may have a bit of an advantage now, but how can he really capitalize? Creep, I guess. A player's forces are... He can't expand. Too much remaining. Can't go that. for the kill. Nah, he certainly can't expand. He has so many walkers, by the way. Not too many raiders. The wyvern is occupying some supply as well. Jamiko is so low on sorcery. He has one sorceress. Yeah. What is this army? He needs more. That's a big weakness. How many priests does he have left? It's also like two, right? Two sorcs, two priests. A so lot many breakers. of breakers, though. Yeah. A player's forces are under attack. And so it is going to creep the red camp, but with so many walkers, that's not so easy to do. Especially with no healing. Blade Masters plus 8. Oh my god, the TC inventory, by the way. Plus 12 in. The Shadow Hunter would have been so happy about this. Oh, loses one raider here to the creeps. But it's a big camp, maybe that's worth it. Helm of Valor, not too bad at all. Not the greatest, of course, but 
Lots of your heroes. At least it's agility. And that's what you want for the crits. And this time the inventory is looking much better for Jamiko. Double in and a health potion and a nice free pickup on the Windrider here to start this fight. Stormball, focus, no saving this one. And here comes the Souls. Lots of disenchant though available. The walkers may actually win the mana battle, at least at the beginning. But it seems like Zoe wants to ditch. So with the town portal, he does have two heal scrolls, but the position was quite bad. He lost the Wyvern and the Raider and the town portal for free. But this is now so hard, like... Winning a real fight against Stormball level 2 without heal wave? Yeah, that is really hard. He needs, like, hero kills fast, but he's so prepared for it, as you said. Invuls, heal potions, invis. Is that dust? I don't think... Okay, that was dust. This is very obvious, so in, and so he gets backstabbed. Can those... Oh, he used one heal scroll. Man, there's not gonna be any spirit link. It's too many breakers. Six of them. And without spirit link against Stormbolt, that's a tough task. Also, of course, stump doesn't really work. He di didn't hit anything except the Mountain King and one footman here, I think. And now the TC in the middle it. of everything, yep. getting focused. One more stomp is in him. Trying to transfer something, Invul maybe doesn't get it off in time. Heal scroll was not good enough. Scroll of speed trying to get up, but he's still stuck and he dies to that Stormbolt. And the Mountain King gets out as well with a lot of healing. Everything is kind of bruised though. If he can get some end snares out, there might be a few more kills, but without the TC, without the aura, it's not the best position, of course, at all. 10 supply advantage for Chimiko. He turned this around once again. Damn, and how close it was. If that AM falls there. What was it, like 20 HP or something? Yeah, something like that. MVP. Um, Maybe God a Shadow Hunter Chakram would have killed him. But okay, he's going for the Mountain King again. There comes a big crit. The oh, 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 Invis again, but he's still an end snare. And the Invul Potion was on cooldown. So he gets the revenge kill. The TC is coming back in a bit. But Shimiko still pushing forward without a second hero now. I think that's the right choice. You don't need the MK here necessarily. Of course it would be good. Does he have the resources for a buyback? Not at all. He's so low on lumber, can't afford that. Level 5 on the AM. He has water torrents now available. There's still a bit of disenchant, but this is going to be expensive to get rid of these. Blade Master. He'll have to do this by himself. But he doesn't have to worry about Stormball at the moment at least. So he used the potion, but the mana gets all burned. But that, of course, he can't position too well. And the burrow is gone. He is supply almost supply stuck. Next water torrent being dispelled again. That means he has no dispel against slow. Well, one maybe. Yeah, one. Waiting for the TC. He's almost back. Yeah. Blade I like this choice well. here by Chimiko. Not risking it with his scroll of speed, stomp, end snare, all that. His AM could be in trouble, so he goes to the shop, gets an invul, and he's gonna wait for his MK. Once his MK is back, moving into the A Orc base, could finish this game. Yeah, he could even go for his expansion here to get the item. No upgrade this time, by the way. Just simply can't afford it. Pretty awesome game between the two here, with a few mistakes, but that most of the time makes for entertaining games. <clears throat> Seems like we're gonna be heading into our last deciding third game in the best of three, unless someone can turn it around. Ten supply okay, advantage, but it's more than that. It's the heroes most notably. The lack of an SH is really, really noticeable. The TC looked good early on with the hero kill attempts, but later has its downsides become obvious. Especially with so many breakers there. Uh, can't really hit too much except the Mountain King. Archmage is always safe. <coughs> Even the castles are safe now. And Shimiko is engaging again with all the potions that he has. Still waiting for the so, MK though. I'm so confident. Even before his MK is out, he's out in the middle of the map here. Big army for him. 60 supply. And... The Mountain King is back. Low on mana though, didn't even bring, bring clarities. Here's one Stormbolt, that's it. 
Oh, that land TC again. He wants to go for the same round, but I think it runs opening it up or the blade. Well done. Now, returning the favor on the hero kill attempt on the Archmage, but there's so many potions for him. And snare again. Blade Master going for the backstab. Doesn't. Look how patient he is with these potions. Doesn't even use them. Doesn't need them yet. But now he may. Goes for the healing potion first. But there's only one in snare here ready. Blade Master's controlled with a storm ball. He's just running around and running around. So he's committing everything for this hero kill. But it's just not happening. This is so cool to see how useless this TC is. He was running around the entire time with one stomp that didn't do too much there. And the army of Soen, there's not too much left. <laughs> Still a 10 supply advantage. The Mountain King is kind of close-ish to another storm bolt. Oh, and Snare doesn't want to commit with a slow blade master because there are no mana for the spell. And there's storm a storm bolt. bolt, and that is a guaranteed kill, level 4 as well. He needs the Archmage kill, but with only one end snare and so many sorceresses and no stun. That's not working. 17 right. supply advantage. One more okay. time. Or crit. crit. And guess what? There's a Stormbolt ready. There's no Windwalk. There's going to be Focus Fire and perhaps the Surround doesn't even need it. Blade Master dead. And this is it. GG. We go full distance. Chimiko striking back on his map choice. On Amazonia, despite uh, quite a few mistakes there or overcommitments, but also so in so risky to go to creep there in the bottom right, then creep jack of course. Whew. That was quite a back and forth. Uh, if he kills that AM, he's in the next round probably, uh, almost got guaranteed. But uh, that TC. It's like, it's like super all in going for that TC, right? If you yeah. don't win the game at, let's say, 42 supply, it's going to be over. Yeah. I agree. Going up against an MK at least. Could be pretty cool against towers. So maybe he thought, like, not towers, but against workers and stuff on, on that level when there's not too much breakers. So maybe he thought that there's going to be a tower rush again. And because of that, but it was pretty clear early on that it's not going to be a tower rush. But on the other side, tier 2 finish at the same time. He didn't. He couldn't really scout for the second hero. I don't know. Hard to say without uh, seeing more games. Did you win? Yes. Not, last map of the day is going to be Last Refuge, and that's going to be the decision as well. Before we go into that game, we have three new subs here. Thank you, Chambanya, for the sub uh, for the Amazon Prime. Thanks. Uh, uh, same to Flabbert, who is subbed via Amazon Prime as well, and Rick Prime. Uh, subbing with Prime for the fifth time in a row. Thank you for not forgetting about us. So, big support there from the Amazon uh, wallet. Thank you guys so much. Just barely in time, you made it to the sub squad for our last game of today. Last refuge. This is where Chimiko looked so dominant yeah. and so confident as well. Not stressed at all in that game earlier, holding on to his TP for a long time. He did the quick maths. He knew exactly how far he could go. He knew his limits and played them perfectly. Do they feel pressure now? It's all down to this one map. Yeah. If you win it, you follow Lin La Light and focus. If you lose it, you have to play the wildcard qualifier. Well, you don't have to play, but if you want to qualify, you have to play the wildcard qualifier with the best of the rest of China, Korea, and Europe will collide. Another sub here. I Cesar. Two months, he says. Great casting. Also nice haircut, Remo. Well, thank you. What is more important to you, Remo? What? A compliment a good on the casting, casting or a good haircut? Haircut. <laughs> um, Both equally important, yeah. What a boring answer. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Can't always please you. For the Western Qualifier on Saturday, by the way, we have some cool players uh, signed up already. Ena is in FK from America, Hunter from Peru, Hawk, Rain, Imperius, Mackie, uh, Scud, Sonic, So Unreal from Australia, Walter, Wan, and uh, even Demon. It's gonna be cool. So it's Scud, not Scud. Yeah, it's Scud. Well, that makes sense since he's Swedish. What does it mean, Swedish? 
lazy, filthy, dirty boy or something. I don't know. Are you just guessing right now? <laughs> it's just um, judging from his personality and appearance. <laughs> is he filthy? Yeah. Is no, he no, one no. of those people who doesn't shower? Scoot is an awesome dude. By the way, speaking of one of those people who don't shower, um, there are some of uh, Warcraft players out there who fall in that category. <clears throat> we noticed that last time in China. I know you guys are curious, but no, I'm not gonna, not gonna go that far. That's so mean of you, man. Dude, it was mean of them. Do you remember? Forces are yeah, under attack. It's gross. Okay, how do we get back from that pack to <laughs> the actual game? We can always talk about the Blade Master. Yeah, he's moving over, trying to steal something, but he's too late again. He's gonna have two less agility soon, Neo. Two less? Yeah, it's crazy, a big deal. Right? I don't know, you sound like you make a joke out of it, but it's actually a, a big deal. Alright, don't click on somewhere else than the Blade Master, please. Just for a moment, I want to test you. Yeah. Alright? So, um, since he has two less agility, how much less armor is he gonna have? 0 0.6. Okay, you knew. Alright. Easy. <laughs> Neo, not even breaking a sweat. <laughs> I am sweating a little because the lights are so warm. Dude, I really have to get these fucking LED lights, right? But then, I mean, isn't this kind of like your only workout when you sweat during casting? <laughs> I do work out at concerts. I'm always super exhausted. And you go to a lot of concerts, so I yes. guess you do work out a little. The crest fallen, 100 bits! Yeah. Hail Satan, my little lambs. How are you today? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, chill stream. Good mood. Descendants later. Dude, check this out. Tamika's creeping the laboratory. I was thinking the same. Like, this is kind of weird. But the Blade Master... Oh, but he can, he can only creep the little ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has to wait for the buffs to run out, maybe. Yeah. And then do it again. It was pretty cool he was distracting with the footman. And the blade has zero experience. Wow. Okay, and the blocks again. Oh my god. He's such a god. He's really the block god. Yeah. Block god. Block god. It's really... Like, how many micro-war maps did he play that his blocking became so good? I don't know. Couple. So, from Soen's perspective, zero HP, no damage done. He is on tier two though. Was it a fast tech or something? A little faster. So these wyvern harasses didn't. Pay. He's going the for the TC again, by the way. Uh, these wyvern harasses didn't really pay off. So would you do it again now? Well, I wouldn't even play TC, but I guess. It's what he's practiced, that's what he's feeling most comfortable with. But the element of surprise from the first game, first time, is certainly gone. Yeah. Now there's even gonna be a guard against the Wind Rider. The Blade Master is level one with zero experience. But he might trap the, the AM here. Uh, not, no, never mind. Not gonna happen this time. Is he getting the first experience? Yes, he does. First, it's not really blood, right? If you kill a water elemental, but. First water. First water. First spill. That's it. So, Mountain King again. Double Arcane Sanctum again. No Beastmaster rush tactics anymore. I think that's good. The player's forces are under attack. Just the first puddle. Play. Hmm? First puddle. Got any more? Um, still thinking. You continue, Cassie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about firsts. Okay, he's going for, he's going for the Wyvern again. And creeps up his TC. So, but he has to power creep so hard now. And the Raider is delayed. So creeping is not super easy. You can't abuse immediately. But in the meantime, Archmage just creeps and creeps and creeps and creeps. Getting comfortably close to level 3. And of course shares with the Mountain King now as well. A player's forces are under attack. Sork's coming. Guard Tower ready. This Wyvern won't do too much to the Echo. Oh, his water broke. That's a good one. Oh. I have, yeah, I should have gotten that. Damn, that's the best. You got me there. Jesus on wheels. 
In America, isn't there like food that's called cheese on wheels or something? What? Cheese on wheels? No. A play with words for wheel of cheese. Wasn't there something like that? Maybe not. A player's forces are under attack. Um, so, as far as Warcraft goes, MK creeping in the middle here. He's doing this pretty aggressively, right? He goes for the opponent merchant first, yeah. and then his own. Yeah. That's kind of greedy. But there's nothing in the army now, because there's two wyvern coming to the main. So what's his Ooh. army, really? It's a few grunts and a walker. And he gets the next item, greater healing. Again, great tank items for him. One kill. A lot of these footies are, like, really hurt. Yes, but slow used, and then they can run away. A town is oh, good. Sports so well salvaged. From Chimiko. Oh, the Wyvern! Five seconds done. Easy kills. Yeah, man. I, told, I, I, I thought from the beginning this is not gonna be a good Wyvern game. And hell no, it's not. This isn't working out so hot at the moment. Ooh, this Windrider. Playing a dangerous That's game. Heal. That was important. We have three storm bolts to work with. Here's one. Can he block? Oh, it's Jamiko. What a stupid question. Of course he can. Doesn't even need it with the slow. Now he can go up to the lab, get that consumable, go to his shop, get that consumable, yeah, get level so three. This get creep route GG. here is really good. And why did Soen commit so hard to this without raiders? I think he saw low HP footies and thought, oh, that's gonna be my best opportunity here to get a bit of a lead, maybe? A player's forces are under attack. Didn't quite work out, though. But Chimiko escaped, like, around the tavern already, and there wasn't too much of an opportunity anymore. I think that was overcommitment, for sure. MK. Gets the next big one. Oh my god, these items. How is this guy supposed to die? Oh, almost level three. Did he forget about the laboratory? I think he did. It would be so easy to grab the consumable there. Uh, he's still in front of it with the Archmage. Maybe he's just, you know, A saving it for worse times. Under attack. For a rainy day, you mean? Like in Hamburg, it is 90% of the time. Yep. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, he would have gotten level three. Okay, it's level three years. Anyway. Oh, Another perfect army for Chimiko here. Good hero levels and amazing inventory. But only 49 supply. A lot of that are footmen. And so he once again trying to go for the hero kill. There's gonna be a stomp. He has to go for the invul. He's trying to time it perfectly and he does. That was pretty sweet. One of his illusion, excuse me, on the MK. Limits his damage output significantly. But he has none left, I think. Nope, there's the last one. Late Master, however, already super low HP. Speed scroll has to be used to disengage. There's another Storm Bolt ready. These breakers in trouble, at least one of them. That applies. Didn't see the Spirit Link before. So he may able actually survive. JK. Ah, uh, sure. This build for a little bit of experience, and so we're getting close to level 3 TC. A town is under siege. Imagine if he doesn't press the invul in time and the AM <laughs> dies there. That would be game, for sure. Would, well, not, not game, really. maybe, but very, very hard to come back from that. Yeah. By the so way, very, very nice how you confused uh, when of the Wind with when of Illusion and Raider with a Breaker in the same fight. <laughs> Did I say when of Illusion? <laughs> yes. But I forgive you. 700 gold for Soren. Plus creeping here. Yeah, got a flying strength, not too shabby. But he's gonna lose Players these boros and he's supply right. stuck, and now he can't spend his 800 gold. And he's losing more. Like, this is a, again so and not looking comfortable at all or confident at all. Like last time on Last Refuge. Speed Soldier go in. Is he just going for the TC kill? Who's gonna kill the hero first? TC or AM. AM still has the big invul, pops it early this time around. Torrent Chieftain can't get stomped at the moment, but here flies the bolt. Breakers behind, right clicks, feedback, and he's dead again. No support anymore with the aura, no stun anymore, and just Tamiko pushing forward and forward. And 
still supply stock is so in, so he can't even get his TC back. Or did he start it? No, he didn't. So yeah, that's hard. No second hero. He's losing two raiders in a row. This game. This is Chimiko. Losing the first map, but coming back and winning this series most likely. Okay, TC is back, but only at 40 supply. Does he want to base race now with one raider? <laughs> I mean, he can't fight, so may as well. Uh, okay. The Windrider is still trying to do what it can. Uh, is there any peasants around? Yeah, there are. There's a couple. Quite a few. It's not my job we're losing this game, guys. <laughs> it was none of these fights. <laughs> Behind enemy lines. The life of the wyvern. So, zero burrows remaining. GG! Chimiko joins Focus, Lin, and Lawliot, making this a uh, way more interesting qualifier, to be honest. Quite interesting how... I don't want to say... Yeah, kind of clueless or chanceless Soen is on Last Refuge twice. I mean, the other two maps weren't as one-sided as Last Refuge. Like, it's, Chimiko's strength showed especially on that map. Most likely due to creep routes, I guess. Yeah, and I think he also got used to the TC. First map, he played really poorly against it. Second, he still played risky on AZ, risking his heroes. Third game, he was like, all right, just creep. Don't lose my heroes. That should be easy. I think it also came into play for him here. And I think someone should reevaluate his strategy. Like, TC, eh. Yeah. Don't try to be too fancy, my friend. <laughs> Well, it was uh, interesting to see. Now we know that uh, that there's a reason why usually you go for the Shadow Hunter, and I think we will see more normal stuff in the future again. Next stream is Saturday. In case you are not laddering, do you plan on doing a ladder stream or something? Mm, maybe, but uh, uh, stay tuned to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You should follow us on social media because, of course, Remo uh, is going to announce it there on Facebook and Twitter and Discord and Instagram. Is, someone else will take care of that. But yeah, we we have that. And especially on Discord, it's a really interesting time because everybody is kind of theory crafting about 1.3. So that's cool. A good place to hang around. Of course, watch Mad Frog stream, uh, Mad Q Frog here on Twitch. Uh, we shared it yesterday on our social media. So just check that out and there's a link in can be more convenient if you really like what you see um to keep this alive you need of course your esports monies uh we have we, you can subscribe here we can, you can donate you can use our amazon referral link you don't pay extra and we get a share of your purchase we have merchandise the good old back to walker the muddy shirts and watch stuff on youtube without ad block i guess that's all ways to support us Remo, do you have any last words or any suggestions? Maybe a good song or a good movie that you saw? Um, oh. Watch um, Room. That's a movie. It's a great movie. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Really good. Other than that, see you uh, Saturday. We're going to be back with some qualifiers. Mass Coliseum. But that's, uh, that's it for us today. Um, exciting times, as Neo said, uh, 1.3, man. What's going to change? How is it going to break the meta? It's going to be so awesome in the future. I hope we see you again. Follow us here so you don't miss any of the action. I just um, realized yeah, that this is my last cast when I'm 28 years old. Oh, um, that's right. Don't forget, forget to congratulate Neo. He has, uh, it's his birthday on Friday, the 13th. Yes. Oh, my God. My advice Franca. to you is... Listen to Tiny Moving Parts, amazing emo band. Maybe my favorite album of the year so far. Tiny Moving Parts. And here are the do nuts. Goodbye routine. Thank you for watching everybody and thanks for the amazing support. Lots of subs and donos today. Because <laughs> I was very happy that I'm gotten like crazy. I have to go. Bye bye. <laughs>